One of the easiest ways to add drums to your project here in GarageBand iOS is to use Apple Loops. So in this video, I'm gonna let you know everything you need to know. Let's go. One, to access Apple Loops, tap on the loop icon in the top right corner. Two, to filter your drums, you can tap on the instruments, genres, or descriptors. Because we want drum loops, I'm gonna tap instruments and then tap all drums. Three, to preview a loop, simply scroll through the loops and once you find one that looks cool, tap on it. Four, to add an audio loop, tap and drag across and drop at the start of your project and it will loop out that audio loop. There are two other types of loops which we'll cover later in the video. And here's what our drum loop sounds like with our project. To adjust the speed of an Apple loop, tap, tap again and go into settings. And then here in the speed section, you can go down to a quarter speed or all the way up to four times. Let's halve the speed and take a listen. Six, to adjust looping, tap, tap again, go to settings. And this time we can turn looping either off or on, it'll be on by default and that will fill up the entire section with your Apple Loop. Seven, to adjust the follow tempo and pitch, we're again here in the settings. If we turn that off, it will go back to the original pitch and the original tempo of your loop, which generally won't work for most cases. <music> So you'll almost always want follow tempo and pitch on. Eight, if you're looking for a unique sound, you can reverse your loop. So tap the reverse button and then take a listen. Nine, we can transpose a loop, which means to change the pitch. So if we want this drum beat to be a little bit sort of dirtier and grimier, we can drop it down, say eight semitones and then take a listen. And 10, to reset your loop settings, tap, tap again, go to settings and hit the reset all button. This will take it back to its original default settings. 11, add a MIDI loop. So there's three different types of drum loops. Let's find a MIDI one. If we go to our loops here and look for a green symbol, that's a MIDI loop. So again, we can preview and we can add a MIDI loop by dragging it into our project. MIDI loop settings work almost the same as our audio loop. So tap, tap again and go to settings. Here you have some slight variations, but pretty similar to what we showed earlier in the video. If you wanna learn more about using MIDI here in GarageBand, check out the videos in the description. 13, let's add a drummer loop. This is our third type of loop, so go back to loops. This time we're looking for one of these yellow loops. For instance, Anton here, if we tap to preview. And tap again, and now to bring it in, we drag over and drop into our project. 14, we can edit our drummer settings by tapping, tapping again, and going to edit. This will bring us into this drummer interface, which I've covered in detail in another video that's linked in the description. And 15, one final tip here is to make sure that you customize, chop, change, make your drums as unique as possible so that your drums don't sound like anyone else. So that will help you get that unique sound and also avoid any copyright issues. To learn about all the other ways you can add drums to your projects here in GarageBand iOS, check out the videos linked down in the description and I'll see you next time.